All right, hey guys, how you doing this week? I hope you're doing okay. I'm doing okay. If you're doing okay, then I'm doing okay. Let's see if I can get this to focus. There we go. As you can see, I have the Latrax alias right here, and the motors are burnt out. Um, so I thought I'd just make sure you guys how to do that. So the motor's burnt out. I'm gonna show you guys how to replace them. It's really easy, so let's go. First, I need to take this guy apart a little bit. Well, I got my 1.5 millimeter wrench. So we're gonna flip it over, and we are going to take out, there are four screws. There's a screw uh, here, 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 and there. They're all hex screws. So I have this wrench, so we are going to take them out. I currently have three screws. Not sure where the other one went. And when you take this off, these little guys right here will come undone as well. You can just take those out as well. Alright, so those are out. Yes, we need to unplug these. But just so I don't get confused, I'm going to unpl unplug two at a time so I can remember which ones go where. So I'm going to take out this black and white motor first, so, and then this black and red motor second. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to open up the motors now and put them in the right spot, because the last thing I want is for this thing to go flying off somewhere. That's not, that's not where it's supposed to be going. Right, so I'm going to put that one in there just to keep it straight. So that one's the bad one. I'm going to unplug this one. There we go. Now you want to make sure to put these motors back in the same spots that they came out because one is counterclockwise, one is clockwise. You want to make sure that you keep them that way, otherwise it won't fly correctly. So that now that the motors are in, you can just plug them back in. You put the red into the red, the black into the black. That a bing, bada boom. Okay, in these legs right here, there's some little clips to clip the motor wires in. Um, I guess you technically you don't have to do it, but it just makes it a little easier when you put the these covers back on. And to do that, I just use a flathead, small flathead screwdriver. Uh, right, I just take the wire, get it into the into the groove, and then push it down with the uh, flathead screwdriver. Okay, so after you got everything all plugged in, ready to go, uh, we're ready to put this thing back together. So we're gonna put in these little, um, I don't know, I'm not sure what these little things are, these little covers. All right, so we got those, ooh, we got those on. And now we can put this little cover back on again. All right, there we go. All right, uh, so now with that, that back on, we can screw it back together. All right, let's see what happens. There we go. All right. Thank you so much, guys, for watching this video. I hope I was able to uh, help you guys figure this out. It really is an easy process. So thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. And I'll see you guys next week or at the track.